Thank you, Father. Good evening, everyone. My name is Tom Olson, and my story is, a, is probably a little bit different than most you might hear. Reason being, I wasn't homeschooled and I didn't attend a private Catholic school. My parents did, however, teach me and my two younger brothers to pray before meals, say our prayers before bed, and as long as we weren't at a friend's house, hunting for the weekend, or out of town, to go to Mass. That was the extent of my faith, and before I knew it, in my second year of college, it had been six months since I had attended Mass, and probably over two years since my last confession. I knew it wasn't a good thing, but I, I knew it wasn't a good thing, but I didn't know why it wasn't. My faith just seemed like a bunch of rules, limiting my ability to have fun. That summer, however, I became very sick, and after about a week of trying antibiotics prescribed by the doctor, and lying on the couch, barely able to eat or drink anything, my mother decided I should be taken to the ER. I was told while lying in the hospital bed that I was going to go in for a CT scan and that there could possibly be some very bad news coming my way. After hearing this, I did what every normal person who has disobeyed God does. I started praying, begging and pleading that whatever the doctor meant by very bad news was actually not very bad and that my life would be normal again. I promised to go to mass and even confession if I could just be all right. Well, I guess the Lord heard it because after a little while, the doctor popped into my room and said, false alarm, we're going to get some fluids and steroids in you. You'll be out of here in no time. So as relieved as I was, I now had a bigger problem to face. I had just made a promise with God. So when I got to NDSU, I thought about that, con that conversation a lot and started attending these Wednesday night events called Bison Catholic Nights. They were, great, they were great, and that was my way of making my end of the deal. One evening in particular, a former Focus team member named Marie gave a talk on authentic friendship. It hit me like a truck, and I realized I didn't have an authentic friend in the world. I had friends that I had grown up with, but even they didn't know everything about my life. At the end of the talk, Marie suggested to join a Bible study. So realizing that could help me pull my end of the deal, I joined one. My Bible study leader was a little short guy named Aaron with the most contagious laugh ever. We quickly became great friends, and I could see how happy he was by living a life for Christ. One evening, he invited me to a game night, and I met a bunch of cool Catholic kids that actually loved Jesus. One of those evenings, I was invited to a retreat put on by St. Paul's Newman Center called Koinonia. I'm usually the procrastinating type of person, but decided about a month before that I actually needed to go to this. Leading up to the retreat, I decided to take my faith seriously and started attending Mass and confession regularly. I was told by Aaron and many others that this retreat would change your life. So, when the retreat got done and God hadn't appeared to me yet, I was pretty disappointed. <laughs> I remember going back to my house. My roommates were all gone but I had a packet that was given to me on the retreat. So I opened it up and started going through it. God's love poured over me in that moment in a way that I cannot describe. And I just started bawling my eyes out. It was not a pretty cry. It was a 20-year-old male that has realized that in all the ways he has failed, God still loves him. But looking back now, it wasn't just the retreat. It was the sickness over that summer and Michael Mayer telling me to come to Bison Catholic Nights. It was Marie's talk on authentic friendship and Aaron having the courage to step outside of his comfort zone and invite a transfer student into his Bible study. And I didn't know it yet, but my life would quickly change to tons of authentic friends, daily mass attendance, adoration, Exodus 90, a beautiful girlfriend, three holy men for roommates, a Bible study of my own consisting of the friends that I had grown up with but had never talked about Christ to, and last but not least, a personal, prayerful relationship with Jesus Christ. It's really amazing looking back at how much my life has changed and how truly happy I have become when I've lived my life for the Lord. I will forever be grateful for what Bison Catholic has done not only in my life, but in the lives of so many students and in the many more to come. Thank you. <laughs>